We did re realize that there was a cyclone on the South Pole a year ago uh, when we went by there with, a, with, with Cassini. Uh, but it, the South Pole's in daylight, so you can see these things very readily. What was a surprise was we see essentially the same type of a feature in the North Pole. Um, we didn't really expect to see the same type of feature because the North Pole has a hexagon around it that we talked about in a previous uh, occasion. And there's this gigantic hexagon. It's still there, uh, still uh, whirling around the North Pole. And one of the things that we've also found is that the clouds inside that hexagon also move around at, at around 300 miles an hour. You know, these cyclones on Saturn are, are huge. You can fit, you know, at least one Earth in one case and two Earths in another case inside these things. And they have powerful winds uh, near the center of about 300 miles an hour. And they're seen deep down in the atmosphere where there's a lot of dense air. So in a lot of ways, these are the most powerful cyclones ever seen. Uh, they would expand over a whole planet if, or more if it was the Earth. Um, and uh, so it's very unusual, very dramatic, very dynamic things going on here to have this kind of power in a cyclone. And we don't, don't have just one, we have two of them. What it shows us is there's some bizarre physics going on on Saturn. That is, it's drawing uh, large amounts of energy from the inside of Saturn to power these storms. Uh, we've always thought of Saturn being this serene body up there that it's very lovely. Not, there's a few storms on it, but it looks very like a pearl in the sky with different hues uh, to it due to different types of clouds, but nothing very dramatic. What we're seeing is, is that if you go through those hazes and get down to the depths of Saturn, you find a roiling atmosphere of all sorts of dynamical features going on, and, and, the, and the cyclone is probably one manifestation of this dramatic dynamics that's going on inside uh, roiling Saturn. The power source that goes into creating this is likely the condensation of water, uh, releasing the energy that it got from the internal heat.